Hi there. Howdy. Welcome to Tuesday Night Trivia. I'm Adam Chaw. And I'm uh, Dan Sigelman, and we're your hosts for the show this week. The first show of 1991, so this is sort of a festive occasion, I guess. And uh, if you're not familiar with the rules of Tuesday Night Trivia, what you do is we uh, post some uh, trivia questions, and you call in and uh, just try to answer them for your city, the suburb of Northwest Community Television. All right, um, why don't we just get it going right now? Um, we got some callers ready. Numbers on the screen, 533-8196. And uh, Dan, why don't you take away with the first question? All righty. Hello there. Hi. What city what? are you calling from? Jake from Robinsdale. 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 I'd like to have you know you are the uh, first caller of uh, the 91 uh, season of Tuesday Night Trivia. Hello, yeah. Here we go. Okay. What is Pittsburgh Pirates' Honus Wagner nickname? Lefty. I'm a That's uh, incorrect. Nice try, though. Yeah. Please call back. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. You aren't on Tuesday Night Trivia. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. Hi. Hi. Is it righty? I'm no, sorry. No, I'm sorry, but that's a good guess. Very good guess. Oh. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Hello? Maybe not. Hello, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Hi. Do you know the answer to the uh, question? Pittsburgh's question? Yes, it's uh, Pittsburgh Pirates, Honus Wagner's uh, nickname. What was his nickname? Uh, Hemroid. What's that? Hemroid. Uh, no, I'm sorry. No, that incorrect. is uh, incorrect. Hi, right, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What city are you calling from? Maple Grove. Hi, Maple, Maple Grove. Do you know, right. do you know, do you know the, the answer? answer? Um, Homer? Ah, uh, no, that's, uh, that's yes, but sorry. I, I think that's one of the Simpsons, isn't it? <laughs> Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What city are you calling from? Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What uh, city are you calling from, and uh, do you know the answer? Plymouth. I'm calling from Plymouth. Do, uh, do you know the answer? What was the question again? It was, uh, what is Pittsburgh Pirates Honus Wagner's nickname? He had a nickname that he uh, went by. Oh, I don't know that one. Can I have an easier one? Well, we uh, uh, maybe should call back and uh, we can uh, maybe give an e easier one later on. Question? It was, what is Pittsburgh Pirates Honus Wagner's nickname? Uh, the Chugger? The, no, that's uh, incorrect. Please call again. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What city are you calling from? Brooklyn Park. We need a question. Uh, you're the, all right, we're going to go with a new question here. We're, the answer to that one was the Flying Dutchman. It's a little bit of a difficult question, but we're going to go on to the next one, and we'll see if you can't get this one. This one might be a little bit easier for you. Uh, where'd you say you're calling from? I'm sorry. Brooklyn Park. Brooklyn Park. All right. Billy Martin is the only manager to win divisional titles with how many different teams? Uh, three. The, the late Billy Martin. That three? Is, um, three is a very close guess. It's a very good guess. I'm sorry it's off by a little bit. Please call back and try to get through again. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What's your New Hope. This is the first call from New Hope tonight. Uh, do you know the answer? Is it four? Yes, that's correct. Congratulations. Get a little ding. You get the uh, ding tonight. <laughs> New Hope gets the first uh, answer of 1991. Would you like to go for the triple whammy? Sure. All right. Uh, Dan, why don't you go on with the next question there? What basketball sharpshooter is nicknamed Pistol Pete? Have any guests there? Pete Rose. <laughs> Pete uh, Rose? No, I'm just a baseball player, actually. Did he play basketball? He might have played, like, basketball for a rec league or something, but uh, yeah. sorry about that. Uh, well, let's go on to the next, qu next caller, see if anybody else can get that. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What city are you calling from? Golden Valley! Well, all right, how are you doing today? <laughs> how are you doing, fella? You're Danny. All right. Hello, fellas. Hi, how are you doing? Do you have an answer? Uh, repeat that with dead por favor. Uh, the question was, Come what... Come on, live enough, guys. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Bjergen. What basketball sharpshooter named Pistol Pete? Uh, Rick the Dick? Uh, no, sorry, that is uh, incorrect, incorrect and uh, inappropriate. Uh, <laughs> try to call back later and maybe give us a different answer. All right, thanks, Bill. Yeah. 
Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What city are you calling from? This is Ed from Go, Gold Valley. Ed, how you doing? How you doing, Ed? Answer to your question, boys. Dan and Adam is Pistol Heat Merovich. Is that right? Is correct. Ed, I'll give you for two good old one. Golden Valley. All right. That All is right. impressive work there. Ed, Thank you're you very gonna, much. You're ready to go for the triple whammy, Ed. Adam, I'm ready. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, let's go with uh, the Dallas Cowboys and the Denver Broncos were the first team to do battle indoors in what annual event, Ed? I'm going to go with the Super Bowl. Edward, you have two in a row here, and you're one short of the Not Triple 91. Ed. All right. This is what you're going for, Ed, the uh, Super Northwest Community Television Calculator. I'm sorry, Adam, could you hold that up closer to the camera? Uh, this is the best view we're going to get of it no, there, well, Ed. Check this out, Lee. Okay, Dan's got a little bit better of a view there. That looks great. Give me a good question now, Adam and Dan. Okay, all right, let's try to find one for you. Um, how about, uh, let's see, uh, what type of award did Brooks Robinson win 16 of? Ooh. And the answer, anyone else in your household there with you, Ed, that can maybe uh, come up with that answer? So you can my younger brother, Phil. Your younger Phil. Maybe Phil could help you out to get this wonderful calculator here. Uh, could you please repeat the question one more time? What type of award did Brooks Robinson win 16 of? I'm guessing a good one, but uh, I'm going to go was, with... Uh, it was a very good award. Batting title. Oh, that was, that was a good answer, Ed. I'm sorry. It was, <sighs> you're, you're in the right ballpark, though. Aha. Uh, Maybe you can call back and try to get the triple whammy later in the show, Ed, and this wonderful calculator would be all yours. All right, thanks, guys. Keep up the good work on TNT. You betcha. <laughs> thanks, Ed. Bye-bye. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What city are you calling from? Plymouth. Howdy, Plymouth. Plymouth. Hi. You know the answer to the question there? Yes, it's the gold glove. You hey, are absolutely correct. How about that? Maybe you and Ed should have teamed up and then you heard the calculators maybe on odd days. Would you like to go for the triple whammy? Bet. All right. Uh, the next question for you then is going to be, how long is a javelin? Got the answer for that one, Plymouth? Oh, uh, we're thinking of it. All righty. I should have been Ed and gotten those other three questions. Um, oh, sorry about that. You can't be in two places at once. Yeah. Unfortunately. Um, hold on a sec. Are there any uh, javelin throwers in the, uh, in the family there? there? Are there many javelin yeah. throwers? You're going to have to try to shoot sure. it up, see if you got an answer there somewhere. I'm sorry, we don't know. We'll have to try again. I All guess right, thanks so. a lot. Thanks a lot for calling. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What city are you calling from? Golden Valley. Golden Valley. Oh, hello. All right, that's Hi, great. <laughs> How you doing out How there? How you doing? Uh, it's the family calling in. Do <laughs> uh, you guys have the answer? No. Oh, all right. Oh, we'll, try, we'll try eight feet, though. Eight it's, it's a close guess, Dad, but... Uh, <laughs> You're six inches <laughs> off. Uh, either way, I don't know. <laughs> and hey, we'll uh, that's a little hint for you. We'll just we'll take one more caller on this since uh, the answer would be obvious after that. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What's Hi. What, what city, city are you calling from? from? Plymouth. 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 You know the answer? Maybe take a guess? Uh, seven foot six inches. Oh, sorry, you went the wrong way. <laughs> the answer was eight feet six inches. You did your best with our little hint there. I'm sorry. Um, you'll try to call back and get get another answer in later of, for Plymouth. A lot of Plymouthites tonight. You betcha. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Where are you calling from? Good old Golden Valley. Another Golden Valleyite here. Golden Valley dominating. Once yeah, we got these two Golden Valley hosts in here. Yep. All right. Uh, maybe I got a new question out there for you, don't we? Yeah, you do. Dan, why don't you give him one? Okay. <laughs> Name seven NFL team. Or, Seven NFL teams are nicknamed <laughs> after what? This happens to be my favorite question out of all of them. Uh, mammals? Yes, oh, that's correct. Very good. <laughs> I just like the answer mammals myself. The kinship myself. pulled through on this one. Golden Valley gets another score, and we are bursting out into the lead. Maybe we can finally pull home a victory. Um, would you like to go for the trickle, triple whammy, and you better. Yeah, I will. All right. Uh, what New York Giant defensive nickname, Spider? Uh, Lawrence Taylor. I have no idea. Uh, he's he's a linebacker, but uh, <laughs> no he's, he's a giant though, so it's a good game. Not knocking you there. Try try to call back and try to win this puppy for Golden Valley. I will. All right, thanks. We'd like to go now. Uh, New Hope is up with one. Uh, Golden Valley has three. Plymouth also has one. 
And uh, we haven't heard from Maple Grove or Brooklyn Park or Brooklyn Center, Osseo or Crystal. And we did hear from Robbinsdale, but they did not get it. Uh, hi, your night trivia. What's it's, it? it's brother, little brother Phil. Phil, how you doing tonight? Fine. Philly's uh, oh, sure. taking advantage tonight. <laughs> You, Phil, you got the answer to this question? About well, the, how about you give me a different question? I'm, I'm sorry, Phil. Come on. You're going to have hey, to... Hey, what's the question? The, the question is, what New York Giant defensive back had the nickname Spider? You ran over the, my New York Giant jacket. You should be able to team this <laughs> for me. Uh, Mike the Spider Singleman. Oh, oh very that's close. very clever and all, but no, it's not close at all. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Phil. Please call again, Phil. <laughs> Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What city are you? New Hope. Calling from? New Hope. New Hope. Yep, the number one so far. Yep. Yeah. Try to make it number two, New Hope? Yeah. You got an answer? Bag it? No, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that is the That's incorrect, incorrect answer. Incorrect. Why don't we go Perhaps on to the next caller? Call again. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. New question, please. Sorry, we have to take a couple more callers Some on this one. This Would you like to take a wild guess on that? or? No idea. Should we give them a new question? All right, we're going to go for the new question. Where are you calling from? Brooklyn Park. All right, Brooklyn Park. Don't get too upset on us. We'll get you a new question there. <laughs> All right, the answer for that one was Carl Lockhart. Any Giants fan might have been able to pull that one up. Everybody knew that. But it might have been a little bit di difficult there. Uh, Dan, I mean, why don't you throw different. out a new question for him? All righty. Uh, are you a Pirates fan? No. You're not a Pirates fan. Well, how about I there's a U.S. Me. president that... It, who was the U.S. president that attended the first Monday night football game? A hint, it is not George Washington. Ah, we, ah comedian, what a comedian in the house today. I'm telling you. Monday night football. First, the first Monday night football game? No, no. Who the was first the first president to attend a Monday night football game? Uh, Carter. You are Very correct. good there. One point for you, Brooklyn you Park. Your presidents. Why don't you, would you like to go for the whammy? Sure. Alrighty, next question will be Oscar Robinson Robertson's, excuse me, averaged how many points a game in his in six of his first NBA seven God, I'm sorry about this. Oscar Robinson averaged how many points a game in six of his first seven NBA campaigns? How close do I have to come? Uh, why don't why don't you, you get within five points? Thirty. That's right on the nose. That is on the nose. It's exactly you thirty. You need the little clue there. And uh, Brooklyn impressive. Park, if you get this third one, not only will you get this uh, lovely calculator, you will tie Golden Valley for the lead. Why don't we go on and try to find the third question for you. Okay, uh, we have to go for a little bit difficult one, because, so, I mean, we couldn't be just giving these wonderful puppies away for nothing. You have to earn it. I'll bag it, shell. All right. <laughs> Bill Bradley entered the Hall of Fame in 1983 with what, with, with what one-time roommate and fellow front court star? Maravich. Uh, no, I'm sorry. That's a good guess, but uh, that's incorrect. Maybe we can call back later and try to get another one. Sure, thanks. Thank you. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What city are uh, you calling from tonight? Hello. Nobody there? <laughs> Hi, what city are you calling from? They're all, they're all over you, there. They are out tonight. The lovely shirts you guys are sporting tonight. Let Thank me. you. You like this? Yeah, yeah they're, they're very wild and crazy, I can tell. <laughs> Thank you. All right, uh, do you have a guess for this uh, Bill Bradley question? Although this is a difficult one, so I'm going to throw an easy one. Yeah, the, uh, One from the easy category. Okay. And uh, we'll take a couple more guesses if anybody wants to guess on that Bill Bradley question, <laughs> or else we'll go to the, this other question here. Yeah. Although this one is a little bit hard in its own right. St. Louis Cardinals quarterback Jim Hart, this is obviously old, because there is no more St. Louis Cardinal football team. Jim Hart is from what college? Uh, let's see here. Uh, could that be uh, Notre Dame? Uh, no, it's a good guess, though. Sorry, try to call back later. Okay, well, listen up there, guys. Looking you're, good, looking good. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What uh, city are you calling from? Golden Valley. All right. They are everywhere. <laughs> it's Golden Valley night it's on Tuesday Night Trivia, folks. It's almost as if it's fixed or something. I uh, <laughs> from Golden Valley. No, I was kidding, but uh, <laughs> do you know the answer to that question? Oh, uh, well, I think I'm going to guess University of Minnesota. Oh, oh, that's a good guess, and I wish he was, because everybody from <laughs> University of Minnesota is great, but that is incorrect. Sorry, try to call back again, Golden Valley. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. 
What uh, city are you calling? Calling from Brooklyn Park. Brooklyn Park. Brooklyn Park. Try to tie up for Golden Valley. Do you know either with Golden Valley? Do you know either of these answers? Um, can you tell me what uh, what team Phil Bradley played for? Uh, to tell you the truth, this one say. is out of my league, and uh, <laughs> it doesn't say. If if I were asked this question, I would not know it. Right. So I I can't. How about tell you. the other one, Penn State? Uh, no, I'm sorry, but that's a good guess. Thanks. Next caller. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What city are you calling from? I'm Crystal. Crystal. Crystal does not yet have any points. Do you know the answer to this question? The question? It was uh, St. Louis Cardinals quarterback Jim Hart is from what college? You guys butt butt? Uh, uh, it's very humorous, but no. Uh, comedians out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what city are you calling from? Plymouth. Plymouth. You know the answer. I'm going to do the... The Bill Bradley one? All right, let's hear it. Um, Willis Reed? Uh, no, I'm sorry, uh, but I I like your guts in going for this one. Can I guess again? Uh, go for it. Dave we'll get, DeBusher? What? What's that? Dave DeBusher? That oh, that's absolutely is, correct. That's great. This one is such a hard question. You are a we scholar. Will, we will allow they you to. Do. for the Knicks. All you right. know the St. Louis question? The one about the Don't college? I? Uh, uh, that's close yeah, enough. We're going to give it to it. It was Surve Southern Illinois. Survey says Southern ding, Illinois. ding, ding. And that's He's two for it. There now. What's, What's that? that? He's the athletic director there now. That's why we guessed that one. Oh, you are just uh, you, you have are all these a connections. trivia maniac, let me tell you. Oh, right. oh, you're calling from Illinois tonight? I'm calling from Plymouth. Okay, now the third one. Plymouth has two there. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, let's uh, go for the third question for you. Okay, um... What is Pittsburgh Pirates Willie Starr's nickname? It's number 17. Pops. That is absolutely correct, and you have gotten our little triple whammy. And uh, Plymouth has uh, emerged into the lead, and uh, you have won one of these wonderful calculators. We'll put you on hold, okay, and I uh, get one of these sent out to you. Good job, Plymouth. Call back. That is the uh, first triple whammy of uh, the 1991 season. <laughs> the 1991 trivia season. Goes to Plymouth. So uh, stay on hold, and we'll get your address. Okay, thanks. Thanks. All right. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What city are you calling from? Brooklyn Center. Brooklyn Center. It's the first caller from Brooklyn Center, I believe. You know the uh, answer? Or What's the question? There's no oh, question. Oh, no that question right now. proposed it. <laughs> what college basketball team is nicknamed the Hoyas? Yellow. Indiana. Indiana is incorrect. Uh, perhaps you'd like to call back and uh, get try another, another question. Yeah. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer to this question? Hello? I don't think anybody's on there. Yellow. Hello. Hey, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, what city are you calling from? Robinsdale. Robinsdale. Can you put the first point on the board? Do you have the answer? Very good. That is correct. That's uh, one for Robbinsdale. Would you like to go for the triple whammy? Uh, yeah. All right. Okay, um, this one is uh, very answerable. Uh, what is George Hallis' nickname? Do you know that one, Robbinsdale? Um, Bart Simpson. Bart oh, Simpson is, that is incorrect. That's He's very close, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's just <laughs> off by a wee bit. But uh, why don't you call back at Robbinsdale and... Uh, Try to score some more points. Okay. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What city are you from? Ah, no one there. Hello? Hi. You're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Would you uh, like to answer the uh, question? Sure. I just want to ask you, do you have any like wrestling questions or anything? Wrestling questions? I uh, I don't know. I, don't, I haven't seen any, but uh, I'm, I haven't really seen one. I don't, I don't know if it would be very any. fair to give that information out. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, know Sorry, the, do you know the answer to this one? What was the question again? What is George Hollis's nickname? George Hollis? George Hallis. George Hallis. Do you know his uh, nickname? Lisa Simpson. Oh, no. very close. <laughs> we were actually kidding about, about it being close. Hulk Hogan. It's, it's not close. No, I'm no, afraid that's not incorrect. A, not a less, it is neither a cartoon character. Well, actually, I don't know. <laughs> it could be a cartoon character, but it is, is not a wrestler, I will tell you that much. Uh, next caller. Tuesday Night Trivia, what city are you calling from? Grove. 
Maple Grove. No uh, points for know the answer to this question? Yeah, Papa Bear. Papa that Bear. That is correct. Very and good. do you know if that is a cartoon character? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it could be one. Would you like to go for the triple whammy? Sure, why not? Dan, why don't you support him a question? Uh, what college football team is nicknamed the Sooners? Oklahoma. Very good. That is two. <laughs> Put two, two points up Maple on the board Grove for Maple Grove. Uh, and uh, now you're heading in the direction of this lovely Northwest Starting Community to Television. Starting better and better, isn't it? Are you shaking? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, I know it's a scary thing to be going for something this beautiful. It's all mine right here, though. Okay, uh, here's your question for the triple whammy. Uh, each year, Cleveland's TV8 sponsors a cal caterpillar race. Name it. Caterpillar race? <laughs> <laughs> this is a hilarious question. Do you know the answer to this one? Uh, Wooly Worm Derby or something. <laughs> <laughs> that is we'll give it to him. No, that is, no that is, I'm afraid I'll let you take another guess, though, because that is so hilariously <laughs> close. <laughs> you are actually close on this one. Maybe it's a combination of your answer, though. Do you, maybe, <laughs> maybe take one more shot at this one, and if you can pull it off, I think it'd be incredible. So, Wooly Worm Rodeo. Oh, no, still I'm sorry. very close. Very close. We'll leave that out one out there. That's for sort you. of a hint for everybody else. Thanks uh, for playing tonight. All right. Hey, you're on Tuesday night trivia. What city are you calling from? He's not calling. <laughs> Hi, you're on Tuesday night trivia. What city are you calling from? Good old Golden Valley. Another Golden Valley. Another I Golden Valley. Golden Valley eight. Eight. This is uh, a, do you know the answer to that? Oh, actually, that was a really difficult a one. one. We're gonna have to put out. A normal question for I you. I got one for you here. In NBA basketball, how many seconds do you have to bring the ball across midcourt? Uh, ten seconds. That Very is absolutely good. correct. Another point for good old Golden Valley. Yeah. Golden Valley is, uh, it's, there. we're romping tonight, I guess. Yeah, we're kicking butt. Now <laughs> Golden Valley is uh, tied with Plymouth with four. Um, let's go on to the uh, next question. Uh, what quarterback made his NFL debut with four touchdown passes that led Minnesota to defeat Chicago in September 16, 1961. Are you a Vikings fan out there, Golden Valley? Uh, I'll have uh, Fran Tarkenton. That is Very correct. <laughs> also the host of uh, That's Incredible, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was, as a matter of fact. So that is now uh, five for Golden Valley, and, and Golden Valley uh, emerges into the lead over Plymouth. So Plymouth trying to get out there. Uh, Golden Valley, you're going for this uh, beautiful calculator here. It's yeah, all in line. <laughs> you betcha. Uh, you don't happen to know the answer to the uh, Cleveland TV8 Caterpillar race, do you? Uh, do you, do you re would you like me to repeat that question? Yeah, give me another one. Come on. Right, I'll, okay, I'm going right. to repeat that question through, though. Uh, each year, Cleveland's TV8 sponsors a Caterpillar race. Name it. All right, why don't we go on to a, a different hard one since that one is really out there in difficult land. Uh, what? Flying kite have two of. That is your question, Golden Valley, for this uh, beautiful calculator. Uh, like sticks crossing each other. Uh, two sticks. <laughs> well, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I think uh, sometimes they do, but I don't think all kites have two sticks. That is not the uh, answer we're looking for. I'm sorry. Uh, why don't you call back though and try to. Get a triple yeah. whammy later on, Golden Valley. Yeah, I hope I enjoyed that music. It's very oh, did you? <laughs> Who always playing tonight? Uh, Lady in Red is very... Oh, really? Yeah. That, that is a beautiful tune. Perhaps you should call back and uh, catch some more tunes. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Yeah. Thanks for calling. Thanks for calling, Golden Valley. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What city are you calling from? Uh, Brooklyn Park. Brooklyn Park. At hey, Brooklyn two Park. tonight. See a triple whammy will tie you for the lead here. Do you know an answer to either of the two questions that are out there right now? Uh, what was the second one about the kite? Uh, what does a, fl a fighting... Oh, I misread the question. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I, it's kind of hard. I don't know if you would have gotten it. Um, what does a fighting kite have two of? Tails. Uh, no, I'm sorry. That, that's incorrect, but that's a good guess, Brooklyn Park. Please call back later. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What city are you calling from? Brooklyn Park. Brooklyn Park. They seem to have the uh, phone lines all wrapped up tonight. Uh, do you know the answer to that question? The kite question? Yeah. Yes. No. Oh. You don't? No. I think we have. Okay, we have one. we have we have hard ones out right now. So we're going to put 
put out one easy one. Um, we'll give the next caller after you, and then we're going to wrap up those hard ones. Um, in what season did Magic Johnson become the third player in NBA history to top 700 assists and 700 rebounds in the same season? Uh, 88. Uh, no, I'm sorry. That's a good guess, but it's incorrect. Please call back. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Who are you calling from? Brooklyn Center. Brooklyn Center. Do you have the uh, answer to that question, Brooklyn Center? Uh, 86. Uh, no, that is incorrect. Um, the basketball seasons go over two years, even though 86 isn't one of them. Please say like the 86, 87 mm -hmm. year or something like that. But uh, and, thanks for uh, calling. Thanks for calling. Maybe you uh, can call back. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What city are you calling from? Maple Grove. Maple Grove. As they, you have two tonight. Uh, perhaps you could add on. Do you know the answer to that? Uh, I don't know. 84, 85. Uh, no, sorry. That's a good guess, though. Okay. Please call back. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What city are you calling from? This is Fast Eddie representing Team Golden Valley. <laughs> All right. Hey, Fast Eddie. You have the answer to that uh, uh, L.A. Laker Magic Johnson question. Actually, gentlemen, I time to pose a new question for the Tuesday Night Trivia viewers. Uh, I'm sorry, Ed. You're going to have to go with that one. There's only been two or three guesses at that. All right, then I will choose the 83-84 season. No, Ed, that's incorrect. You are very but close. You are getting closer. Right. Closer than the other guys. Can I just have one quick question? Yes. Why is it called the triple whammy when there's only two questions? Well, there are actually three questions, which is the triple whammy. Uh, I guess we'll I talk to it in the, we'll talk about it in the car tomorrow, Ed. I'll explain I guess it to I don't you. understand your confusion. <laughs> Shalom. <laughs> See you, Ed. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Yo, Vanilla here. It's uh, Vanilla Ice. Yeah. We have these out tonight. Uh, what Bob Dylan. What city are you calling from? Um, Bloomington. Bloomington. How are uh, you doing? You, we aren't seen in Bloomington, so it's interesting that you are calling, but do you have an answer to the question? Oh, yeah. What is it? Can you repeat the question? <laughs> sure. In what season did Magic Johnson become the third player in NBA history to top 700 assists and 700 rebounds in the same season? Back, yeah. What was uh, that? I'm saying Jones. <laughs> I'm afraid that is not yeah, the that's answer. Incorrect. But, uh, oh, fuck yeah. Thank you. All right, thank uh, you for calling. <laughs> Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. <laughs> Do you know the answer? Uh, 82, 83. Oh, no, very close. No, it's very close. We're going to take one more guess at that, and then we're going to give away all three of the questions that so are out right now. Please call back. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the uh, answer to this question here? Uh, not really, but I'll guess. Go take, for it. Take a stab at it. Was it the 80-81 season? Oh, we were right around it. I am sorry, that's incorrect. The correct answer was the 81-82 season. Don't hang up, though. Do you know the answer? To... Okay, well, he hung too up. Late. There you go. <laughs> we're going to give the, uh, the other two hard questions to get them out of our way here. The uh, Cleveland Caterpillar race is called the Wooly Bear 500. For those of you trivia uh, friends out there kicking yourself for not remembering that one, you uh, just have to call in faster next time. And the uh, fighting kite question, it has two flying lines. All right, we're going to go on to new caller, new questions. <coughs> new slate here. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the uh, answer to that question? What question? About the, uh, the Magic Johnson one? Oh, we gave that answer. Wait, oh, did we? <laughs> yeah, sorry. 81, 82. <laughs> oh, sorry. You won. No, it's <laughs> like, um, here's a pretty easy one. Who scored his 1,000th? 1,000, I can't talk tonight, goal in front of 100,000 soccer fans in Rio de Janeiro in 1969 on a penalty kick. I'll give you one, one hint here. If you are not a soccer fan, it will be the only soccer player that you have ever heard of. Must be Pele. Very that good. That is correct. I even believe he had his own Atari game out there. <laughs> he did. Uh, what city are you calling from, sir? Brooklyn Park. Brooklyn, Brooklyn Park. Park, sorry. All right, three for Brooklyn Park, and you're two behind Golden Valley for the lead. A triple uh, whammy here, which would be two more questions on top of the one. Would I tie you for the lead? Would you like to go for that? Sure. All righty, let's try to finish off this first page here. What is uh, Pittsburgh Pirates John Candelaria's nickname? The Must Candyman. Very good. That's correct. Is there another John Candelaria besides the pitcher that used to must be a different guy besides the pitcher that was on the Twins. Edge. Okay, anyways, <laughs> one, more, one more question for your uh, calculator here, and uh, it'll be all yours. You want to go for it, Dan? Who was the first person to double cross this channel? <laughs> Ooh, this one's tough. You know the answer to this one? Male or female? Male. I think it's fair to give you that hint. John Kinsella. 
Uh, no, I'm sorry. That's a good guess. But uh, try to call back later, and maybe you can get this wonderful calculator here. Great, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks for calling. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Yeah, hey, what's up, man? Not much. All right, we have to question? get out a normal question for you. Uh, what city right. are you calling from? Golden Valley, man. Golden, Golden Valley. Valley, all right. I think oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is or else uh, maybe a disguised voice. <laughs> this is the first time I've heard this one tonight. All right. Uh, <laughs> Ah, that's very funny. I, I agree. <laughs> what is Ernie Banks called? That is your question, Golden Valley. <laughs> Boingo? Is that what he said? <laughs> Oingo Boingo is not correct, I'm <laughs> that, is, that is incorrect. Sorry. If that's a good one. Hi, do you know the answer to the question? No. Would you uh, like, to, like to possibly take a, take a step? Uh, what was the question again? What is Ernie Banks called? The like, banker. The banker. Nope, that is a... Uh, it's a good guess. That's but it's a very good guess, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it is incorrect. I'm sorry. Back. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer to the question? <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> what city are you calling from? GV. GV. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you know the uh, answer to the question? Derek Crow and Mrs. King. What's that? Derek Crow and Mrs. No, I'm afraid uh, Scarecrow and Mrs. King is, is not... incorrect. Is that a relative of yours, I perhaps? Have. <laughs> Sounds like a cousin of yours, maybe. Anyways, uh, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer? No. Hey, would you like to take a guess? Uh, uh, Chicago cover. <laughs> you are getting close, actually. That's not a funny guess. That was pretty close. Would you like to, take, uh, would well, you like to elaborate on that, possibly? Well, thanks for calling tonight, and uh, maybe you can try it later. Okay, we'll take one more call on this one, see if anyone can get this. All right, do you know the answer to the question? Yeah, and I'm not calling from Golden Valley, believe it or not. <laughs> well, uh, that's good to hear. Uh, we like to spread... Mr. Cub. What's that? Mr. Cub, is that it? Um... No. No, that isn't. It's but cool, though, isn't yeah, it? You can elaborate on that, I suppose. The original Mr. Cub, I don't know. <laughs> Like that, uh, that's it? a good guess. We're going to give this one away. Uh, nice guess, though. The answer, what is Ernie Banks called, is the greatest cub ever. You had to say those uh, four words. <laughs> yeah. We're going to take this moment to uh, tell you a little bit about Northwest Community Television. If you like the show, please call in our viewer response line, 33-1710, uh, and uh, tell, you what, tell us what you think. Any comments that you have. Tell us how cool we are. <laughs> or uh, how uncool we are however the case may be. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't we go on to the next question? Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What city are you calling from? He is not calling from any city. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Brooklyn Center, not Bro Golden Valley. Brooklyn Center, how you doing? Pretty good. Brooklyn Center does not has not yet accumulated any points tonight, but uh, you can uh, take a stab at it with uh, this question here. In what year did Larry Bird become the first Boston Celtics star to sink the first three-point field goal in an NBA All-Star game. Oh, man. Um, 79-80? Hey, Very that, good. That is close enough. It was 1980. This one was an actual year because it was one specific moment. <laughs> but we'll give that one to you. Uh, what city were you calling from? I missed that. Brooklyn, Brooklyn Center. Center. Brooklyn Center. All right. Uh, Brooklyn Center, would you like to go for the triple whammy? Sure. All right, uh, the next question for you will be, what is Yankee Stadium left center field nicknamed? Mm, um. The only hint I can give you is uh, hitters hated hitting there. Yeah, I know. Because it is um, quite deep, as you may have figured. Oh, jeez. I know this one. Um. Have any guess here? Um. You know, it's not baseball season, you know. Uh, what's that? It's not baseball season. How am I supposed yeah, to Yeah, this is sports trivia. We're hoping anyone could get this. Uh, we'll give you a, a chance for a guess. You got a guess, or maybe we're going to just have to go on to the next caller? Um, Take a stab at it. We'll give you a countdown. Three, <laughs> two, two, one. Any guess? Sorry. Possibly you could call back uh, on a different question. Okay. Thanks for calling, though. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer to this question? I don't know. No. Would you possibly like to take a guess at it? The wall. The wall. The wall. Uh, very that does, close. But it, it, oh, come well, on, just give it to me. It's not close at all, actually. But <laughs> it's, I give it. it is a, no, it's, it's really, really not close. <laughs> the wall, I don't know. 
<laughs> Sorry. Um, thanks for taking that guess, so, and uh, call back. maybe call back. Take Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer to this? Uh, Hitter's Raven? Uh, that is a very creative nickname. I think, <laughs> I think they should nickname a, a ballpark that. Uh, maybe we should write to a different uh, hard field, but that is not the correct one. I'm sorry. But we'll take one more call, and maybe we'll give this one away. <coughs> Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the uh, answer? That's not. One more. One more actual live call. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What city are you calling from? Brooklyn Center. Brooklyn Center. You have one. Uh, do you know the answer to this? Uh, no. How about uh, Never Never Land? <laughs> nope, I'm sorry. That's a good guess, though. We're going to give this one away. Thanks for calling, and uh, please call back later. Hey, don't go to the next one. All right, the answer to that one is Death Valley. That is what Death it is Valley nicknamed. Was the, uh, All right, I'm going to take this time to do image. another little prototype deal. Uh, we're going to tell you about the next one. Next Tuesday Night Trivia is coming up. Why don't you support them? That well, on uh, January 7th, or 15th, rather, uh, it's going to be a Minnesota trivia. If you uh, pride yourself on knowing a lot about Minnesota, perhaps you should uh, tune in on this one. And then on January 22nd, for you music buffs out there, we have the music trivia where you can call in and uh, answer questions about your favorite uh, music personalities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on January 29th, <laughs> it's uh, movie trivia. So don't, don't miss, miss it. it. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're back in, and we're going to take another caller. The phones are lighting up here. You can see the shine on me. <laughs> Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. What city are you calling from? Plymouth. Plymouth. Oh, you have to support him a question. Do you, oh, you need a question here. The Christmas tree is a nickname for what in drag racing? You know the answer to that one, Plymouth? No. All Would right. I possibly so I... like to take a stab at it? Take the question. The Christmas tree is the nickname for what in drag racing? Well, perhaps you uh, could call back and, uh, and uh, answer another question. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you have the answer to this question? I, I, I know what it is, but I don't know what it's called. It's the stop. It's the, it's, that's the start line with the lights. Yeah, we'll, we'll give that that's, to you. The that's starting what it lights is. is what we were looking for. Uh, that was uh, Plymouth. Plymouth. That's one for Plymouth, then. And uh, you're headed for this calculator with just two more uh, correct... Pretty exciting. <laughs> Very I know, exciting. I can hear the excitement in your voice. Uh, why, don't, why don't we give you one here, since you're so excited. Uh, Tony Oliva... Oh. Uh, Very good. Sorry. Uh, Give <laughs> that one. <laughs> quarterback for Yale was inspiration for BD in what comic strip? Say that again. Brian Dowling, quarterback for Yale, was the inspiration for what BD... In what comic strip? Bill Thorpe. What's that? Bill Thorpe. Uh, no, that's no, uh, not sorry. the correct. That's not the answer we were looking for. Uh, thanks for thanks for calling though. Thank Try you. to call back. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you the, do you have the answer? Question, please. Brian, quarterback for Yale, was the inspiration for BD in what comic strip? Far side. No, that is uh, not correct. You're kind of close. Uh, like lipstick or on your dipstick. All righty. How are you doing today? <laughs> that was very... Uh, Our Tuesday Night Trivia. Um, is it Doonesbury? That, that is, is correct. the correct one. What city are you calling from? Maple Grove. Maple Grove. That's one for Maple Grove. You, you now have a total of three. Would you like to take, uh, take a chance for the triple whammy? Yeah. All right. Uh, what Chicago Bear halfback in 1951 and 52 is the father of Danny White? I take it that means the quarterback, the, he used to be the quarterback for Dallas, Danny White. What is his dad's name? Chicago Bear halfback in 51 Frank White? and 52. Uh, no, I'm sorry. That's a good guess, so please call back. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer? What was the question? Which one was it? Uh, the question was, what Chicago Bear halfback in 1951 and 52 is the father of Danny White. I'm not that old. Neither am I. <laughs> you got a guess for us? Last name's uh, White, huh? Yep. So you're halfway there. Uh, John White. No, I'm Fred sorry. Fred White. A little farther <laughs> down in the alphabet there, but uh, please call back and uh, try for another one. Take two more guesses at this one, and then we'll go on. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer to this question? Question again? 
What Chicago Bear halfback in 1951 and 52 is the father of Danny White? Uh, Lorenzo White? No, no he's, a, he's a wee bit younger, actually. He's playing right now, not the father of Danny White. But that's a good guess. There is a Lorenzo White. Perhaps. Because I've heard of the, <laughs> the guy that's on the sheet, and I have heard of Lorenzo but White. So. Perhaps this next caller does. Hi, do you know the answer? To the... Well, Maybe they don't. One more shot at this one, and we'll give her a Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer to the question? Um, no, I don't, but is there any way that I can answer the one of the first person that crossed the English Channel? You absolutely can. That one's still out there. All right, is it uh, Matthew Webb in 1875? No, I'm sorry. No, that's, that's, that's a good guess. Uh, thanks for calling. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer? It's um, Byron White. Nope, that, uh, what was, Byron White, is that what you said? Yeah. No, it's not correct. Uh, perhaps you could call back and uh, answer a Should we question. give that one away? Yeah, I think maybe we should. Yeah. All right, the guy's name is Wilford White. He was the halfback for Chicago. Uh, let's go on to a new question. Where would we... I guess not a very popular halfback. Wilford, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of him. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer? Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer? What question? <laughs> Put a question out. Yeah, there's no oh. question, Rika. Okay. <laughs> uh, what city are you calling from? Good old Plymouth. Good old Plymouth. Uh, oh, yeah. It's kind of like a playoff on, uh, on Golden the Valley. Golden Valley. Get theme. original, Plymouth. <laughs> I know. you got to come up with a, a new uh, Catch call phrase. cry or whatever you want to say. The Milwaukee Bucks is the first NBA team to post how many consecutive 60 victory seasons starting in 1970-71? Five. Uh, no, that's a good guess, though. So Six, thanks. seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, they, did they say it? No, they no. didn't. But <laughs> Too bad. Uh, perhaps you could call back and uh, answer a different question. Hi, uh, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer? Uh, try four. That's incorrect. Four is uh, incorrect. Please call back, though. Hi, uh, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer? Do you know the answer? Uh, three. That's correct. What city are you calling from? Maple Grove. I can tell that you are a trivia whiz by the way that you said uh, three. Yep. <laughs> All right, Maple, Maple, Grove. Ma that... Maple Grove sports a uh, one in the uh, win column. I don't know what it is. <laughs> what pitcher won and lost the most games in Major League history? Won and lost, yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, Walter Johnson. Uh, no, I'm sorry. That's a good guess, but it's incorrect. Perhaps Please you call back. Uh, call back and take another stab at that. Maybe. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer? Hi, young. Very That's good. Correct. What city are you calling from? What city are you calling from? Maple Grove. Maple, Maple, Maple Grove uh, is now tied for the lead with Golden Valley and Plymouth, all with five. So we have uh, sort of a neck-and-neck -neck battle here, three-way. We sure do. Uh, should I go on the next question for this yeah. guy? Alrighty. What college basketball team is nicknamed the Scarlet Knights? You know that one, Maple Grove? North Carolina. Uh, no, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. But uh, please call back Thanks and for calling. try again. Mm -hmm. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer? What's the question again? What college basketball team is nicknamed the Scarlet Knights? Uh, that... Um, what was that again? What college basketball team is nicknamed the Scarlet Knights? Uh, can you give me an easier one? I'm sorry, we're going to have to go with that one. Putting our sheets here, that is a very easy that one. Is, but, uh, yes, it is on our easy list. Maybe you can check your uh, sports almanacs and uh, call back. Call back soon. Thanks. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer? Hello. Hi. You're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer? Uh, what was the question again? <laughs> what college basketball team is nicknamed the Scarlet Knights? Uh, Brutus the Barber Beefcake. <laughs> is this the wrestling fella again? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. I don't Bruce. know if he had his own team or not. I, I don't <laughs> think so. Yeah, I'm almost positive. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer? Hi, do you know the answer? I believe it's Rutgers. That is that not is correct. What city are you calling score from? One of these. That's country, Brooklyn Center. Brooklyn Center. What country? <laughs> well, what's his motto there? I don't know. Well, what country are you from? I'm from Brooklyn Center. Yeah, I, Brooklyn Center. I thought you said something country. Right. Anyways. God's country. God's country. country. There, there we go. We go.
Hey, Jinx. Can I get the triple whammy? Or? <laughs> you sure can. We, you can go for we it. We worked with you there. Uh, <laughs> what number is to the left of a nine on a dartboard? Oh, I believe that's seven. No. Uh, you're it's a, a little, good guess, though. You're kind of far off, but uh, maybe you can call back and take another stab at that one. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you have an answer? Yeah, you mean the one that's to, to the left of it as you're facing the dartboard? I assume so. Fourteen? That is yes, correct. The, perhaps you have a dartboard there with you. Yeah, we have an electronic dartboard in case oh, we got for nice. Christmas. So. so you had an advantage over the rest of those uh, trivia folks out but they, there. They proved successful. What city are you calling from? Plymouth. Plymouth. That uh, puts Plymouth into the lead. Yep. Come on, Golden Valley. This is getting impressive. This was Golden Valley's day. you got to get back into All this. All our buddies from Golden Valley are... Uh, Questions that you'd give to a Golden Valley person. What? Oh, well, hey, now we're not We are not this. prejudiced. <laughs> All our questions are equally uh, easy and gettable. Uh, here's a question for you, though. Um, not a dartboard question. What's that? Another dartboard question would be good. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. One <laughs> dartboard question is all I see on our list. <laughs> um, 130 bases in his record-setting 1982 season. Ricky Henderson. That is absolutely correct. That's two for you, Plymouth. And now you are two ahead of Golden Valley and Rove. And uh, one more for you know what? This baby right here, this, this solar-powered Northwest Community Television <laughs> Calculator will be all yours. Yeah? In an NFL game, how does an official call a delay of game? Hello. But, hello. <laughs> um, what, with his arms crossed by his chest, he crosses it. <laughs> Very good. Plymouth Where you comes out with another triple whammy. I don't know. Oh, it's 3 2. Oh. Um, <clears throat> All right, uh, uh, we're going to put you on hold. and uh, that puts us in the lead over Golden it, it really does. By you're, three. you're three ahead of Golden Valley now, and this baby, or one just like it, will be all yours. I bet you can't wait already so to receive this if baby. If you can uh, stay on the line, we'll uh, get that out to you. Will do. Thanks a lot. Yep. By the way, I want to give away one of the old ones I see that we still have out there. The, uh, the first person to double cross the English Channel was, uh, I'm going to try to say this right, Antonio Albertando, I think. But uh, now we got that one off off our uh, chest there. It's out of the way. Go to the next one. New caller and a new question here. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Hi, guys. Trying to get Brooklyn Park back in the race here. All righty. Brooklyn Park has four. You're only uh, four behind the lead four here. Four behind the lead. One out of second place. What stadium do the San Diego Charger, Chargers play at? Uh, the Chargers. <laughs> have you ever been in San Diego? Sure. Perhaps you have visited this uh, infamous stadium? I took a recent visit to the stadium, actually. Uh, God. <laughs> I'm sure you're interested. <laughs> Do you know the answer? I've, I've lost that one. You've I'm lost. sorry. Or Brooklyn Park. Yeah. <laughs> Call back again, though. Maybe you'll get him back in there. Thanks for calling. And if you're out there, this one's all yours. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer? Those are facts. Well, What's that? you're a cool kid. <laughs> Hi, on Tuesday Night Trivia, do you know the answer? Uh, Jack Murphy Stadium. That's Jack correct. Jack Murphy Stadium is the correct one. What city are you calling from? Maple Grove. Maple, Maple Grove goes ahead of Golden Valley into the second place on its own. A triple whammy will tie you for first. <laughs> Our floor director is happy that Maple Grove is in second place now. <laughs> um, you ready for the triple whammy? Yes. What Pittsburgh Steeler back was nicknamed Special Delivery? Uh, Franco Harris? No, Franco Harris is not correct. Perhaps you could call back and try again. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer? Uh, what Pittsburgh Steeler back was nicknamed Special Brie? Tell me what season it was? Uh, it doesn't really say. I guess uh, he was well known for this enough <laughs> that they didn't write it down. <laughs> Delivery. Yeah. I know this one, so it can't be that old. I don't know. I would guess it's probably around the 70s ish, but don't take my word for it. Could I think it is. Got a shot shot at it? I would have said Franco Harris. Oh, sorry. Maybe you can call back and get another one later. So every just so everybody knows, it is not Franco Harris. <laughs> Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Bracky Blair. Nope, no, I'm sorry. Rocky Blyer is uh, not the answer. Good guess, though. 
Yeah, I know Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer? Hey, guys, it's Butsy from Golden Valley here. Butsy, how you doing? Hey, guys, you're doing a great job, and uh, I was looking through the channels, and I saw you guys. That's great, Butts. How's your law class coming? You got an answer? Uh, <laughs> uh no. Uh, what, what's the question? Uh, what Pittsburgh Stiller back was nicknamed Special Delivery, Butts? Uh, <laughs> would Butts that is be not uh, the, the Rocco man? The Franco Mar Harris? No, no, somebody no, guessed wait, that. we're going to give him another guess because he was not here to hear the okay, clue. Okay. Uh, I would say Rocky Blair. <laughs> you just said that. <laughs> no, that was somebody no, else. Sorry, that is answer. incorrect, but that's a good guess because but it's the guy to before you guessed it. Well, you guys, uh, have a good time and uh, keep it up. No, well, keep well, keep watching. There could be some questions that you might know, and you could win this calculator here. Well, would that help me in mathematics? It Absolutely would. will. But it could bring those grades up. <laughs> Maybe in geometry or something. You, yeah. Yep. See you, Butts. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer? Jones. What's that? That's right. Special Jones. Delivery you know Jones. His Doesn't matter. His name is Edgar, but Special Delivery Jones is what I knew. So, hey, that's good enough for me. It's good enough for you. What city are you calling from? Maple Grove. Maple Grove. And now the, I think there are two ahead of Golden Valley and one behind Plymouth. Uh, you're on your way to the Triple Whammy? Yep. All righty. What is the nickname of the Buffalo Bills blockers? Might be a tricky one. I don't know if they're especially known for this nickname anymore because I haven't heard it. But uh, maybe, maybe it used to be more, a more infamous of the. Uh, yeah, give me a hint. It, it, it was a. It was the name of a famous PBS program. <laughs> <laughs> Children's program. Got any guesses? Apple. What's that? Apple. <laughs> Newton's apple. <laughs> Newton's apple is incorrect. Uh, perhaps you uh, could call back and answer another question. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Hey, guys, what's going on? Uh, not much. You know the answer to this question. Wait, who was that, that guy that called in and called you fag? I mean, what a dork. I went to that when I was in third grade. What a loser. Um, we, you know the answer to this question. Uh, Thanks repeat. for standing up for us. For. What's that? I mean, repeat in Spanish. What is the nickname of the Buffalo Bills blockers? No, where did he get? Didn't we? No, he never oh. got it. The name of the Buffalo Bills blockers? Yeah. yeah. And the hint was it is yeah, PBS children's show as well. <laughs> you like that uh -oh. hint, don't you, Chow? This is only an hour program. Uh, do you know the answer? Uh, uh Sesame Street. <laughs> no, <laughs> that would be a very funny name for a defensive end or whatever. <laughs> well, maybe they were bad. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night <laughs> Trivia. Do you know the answer? Electric Company. That very is correct. Good. Uh, my next hint was going to be it's on a Monopoly board. but <laughs> <laughs> uh, What city are you calling from? Crystal. 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 Is that the first one for Crystal? That is the first one for Crystal. <laughs> and Osho, where are you tonight? I don't know. If you could go for the... If we could let you go for the eight whammy only, but uh, maybe you can get three and try to get back in the race here. No, he's from Crystal. Crystal. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you said what is the name of the I'm cup thinking. that the Canadian football leagues take home? The uh, Canadian football. Grey Cup? The yep. Grey Cup. Very good. Perhaps you uh, <laughs> have been to Canada before. Uh, once or twice. One uh, more for enough, the triple whammy. I enough believe. to know the Grey Cup, right? Yep. Well, one more for the triple whammy. I think uh, you're installed for a harder one here. All right, uh, I can go, I'll go for one. Uh, the Carlson brothers were horn -rimmed, wore horn-rimmed glasses in what hockey movie? It was a Paul Newman movie. Uh, oh. And I have it on tape if you'd like to view shot. it. That Very is good. good. You Triple have uh, just earned yourself the uh, infamous Northwest Community Television Calculator, the, uh, the credit card version. Big buck show, huh? You betcha. <laughs> you betcha. Solar powered. We go all, right. all out here. So uh, if you'd like to stay on hold, and uh, we can get your address and get one of these puppies out to you. Sounds great. All right. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Uh, we need a new question here. What city are you calling from? Maple Grove. Maple Grove. What is the nickname of San Diego Chargers defensive tackle Ernie Ladd? Um, the Nigerian Nightmare? The Nigerian Nightmare. Well, that, that would be correct. Christian Okoye of the Kansas City Chiefs, but that is a good guess. Uh, please call back and try to get another one. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the uh, answer to this? 
question here? Uh, what was it? What is the nickname of San Diego Chargers defensive tackle Ernie Ladd? I'm not exactly sure, but I'm the one who is on hold. Oh, oh you are on hold. <laughs> well, stay on hold and we'll get that calculated. <laughs> <laughs> nice to hear from you again. <laughs> Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the uh, answer here? Can you repeat the question? What is the nickname of San Diego Chargers defensive tackle Ernie Ladd? Um... Got any guess for us, sir? Get head. Uh, no, that, no is, I'm sorry. that is not the correct answer. I'm going to go on and uh, give this one away since no one seems to be coming too close on it. The answer is the, the cat. cat. He was and apparently a real cool cat. He, but, uh, uh, but um bump. That is but very, nobody got that very one. funny, Dan. All right, anyways, I'm going to go give out another question, see if anybody else can get this. Uh, Tony Oliva became the first rookie playing for this team to win the American League batting crown. You know the answer there. I, could you repeat the question, please? Tony oh. Olivia became the first rookie playing for this team to win the American League background. Minnesota Twins. Very That's good. Correct. What city are you calling from? Brooklyn Center. Brooklyn Center. You a big Twins fan? Oh, yeah. It's good to hear. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, we're running out of easy questions here. Sorry, we're going to end up over on the hard ones. Here's one for you. What college did Jesse Owens attend? I believe that was, uh, okay, it's going to be a guess, I guess. I thought it was uh, Michigan. Michigan, no, that's uh, that's not the one we were looking for. Thank you. Yep. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer? Hello. They don't. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer? Again? Oh, you're still on hold. Yep. Where, where are our operators here? Uh, stay on hold, please. All righty. Hi, you're on Tuesday Night Trivia. Do you know the answer? Uh, what was the question? I knew the answer to the other two that you just gave away. What college did Jesse Owens attend? Jesse Owens? Wisconsin. No, that that wasn't the uh, right college. Should we give? No, we shouldn't well, We're going to go for one more, and then we're going to have to wrap this edition up. See right, if anybody give me, else give, can... me, give me a question. Uh, no, afraid. we're going to have one, one more caller. One, one more caller. I'm sorry. Sure, why are you giving answers out before you get answers in? Like that one in Ernie Lab? Because some people just, oh. it seems like it's hard to get. I'm sorry but if you knew nice that one. But it's been nice talking to you tonight. Yeah, All right, one more, one more caller. This is the last caller tonight. Uh, Do you know what, what the, the answer was? You know the answer. Hi, okay. Uh, this is Dave. I just think you guys are awesome. What happened to Phil? <laughs> oh, well, my old couldn't call you. Well, what college did Jesse Owens attend? Uh, how about the Golden Valley Lutheran College? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's incorrect. I uh, believe that's Art High. Dude, wait, but Amchel for my older brother, go Chargers. Okay, thanks. Well, we're gonna have we're gonna have to go. Uh, the answer to that one was Ohio State. If you're uh, keeping score. All right, we're gonna the final totals here. Plymouth did take the win um, with eight. New Hope had one. Maple Grove seven. Brooklyn Park four. Golden Valley five. A uh, couple more, but we don't have time for that right now. All right. Uh, if you like the show, let us know. Call the viewer response line. It's 533-1710. And uh, the next uh, one's coming up here. we got the Minnesota trivia, the music trivia, and, and movie. movie. All right. Uh, thanks for watching.